my, it is so hot. It's so hot. I'm melting. It literally went from winter to summer. Where's, where is spring? What, where? Where is she at? Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and in today's video, we are doing my May TBR. May is my favorite month of the year only because it's my birthday month, okay? I was born on May 5th. I'm a Cinco de Mayo baby, so have a taco on me this, <laughs> this coming Sunday. Um, but yeah, I will be 35 years old. It, it, it kind of hurts to say, because it's like, whoa, you really are halfway to 70 when you look at it that way, but it's fine. So for this TBR, I was like, what am I gonna do? Because I kind of was like, do I stick with my jar? And just do it that way or do I want to like mood read because it's you know my birthday month and then as like the end of April was coming to a close I kept getting like these emails like you've been approved you've been approved you've been approved for three different arcs so those I have to read for the month of uh May so those are definitely going to be on my TBR and then I have pages and eyes book club pick so that's also on my TBR so that's already four spots taken so I was like, do I just want to mood read? Apparently not because I did not prepare for this. So we're just going to do the TBR. We're, we're going to do the jar. We're going to do the TBR jar. And I'm going to only pick like four because I already have like a set four that I have to read. So as much as I'm mood reading, I'm really not. But I did want to read these arcs that I have. So technically I am mood reading. I am, I'm winning in this. I just... Like I have to read them. And I always have a little, like when someone tells me I have to read something, that's when I get a little like, do I have to? And then I get a little slumpy, but like I have to. So that's just, it is what it is. So I will, okay, if you're new to my channel, you don't know, I pick all my prompts and then I do a little Spotify song and Spotify helps me pick one book for my TBR. And then I pick all my books, I come back and I show you guys everything. Okay, so let's just get in to the prompts okay I would like to get a prompt that I haven't had yet that would be fabulous but probably not gonna happen okay number one no nope nope do not pick that up Molly you stay away okay number one is Elsie Silver so basically whenever I pick an author that means I have to read a book by said author and I have plenty to choose from. I could go back and finish the Gold Rush Ranch. I could continue on with Chestnut Springs. I could start her new Wild Love book, which is another series. I can't remember what it's called. I could do that. We don't know what I'm gonna do, but I have options. So that's nice. That's always nice. Okay. The next, I'm trying to get ones on the bottom. Okay. This one, it's long read the next book in a series perfect because i have like so many series going on which i could actually kill two birds with one stone and read this this these can go together these can go together that's kind of nice am i going to do that though i don't know am i feeling like that i don't know i have my cat right in front of me and all he wants to do is eat the papers go away go away ollie Okay, next we've got Ollie. Sir, you can't be chewing the papers. You can't be chewing the papers. Next pick is Claire Kingsley. Okay, so this TBR is just gonna be set for me. I don't have to do a lot of thinking. Um, so basically, the only thing that I have to read from her, I think, well, that's not true, I do have another book, but I've been reading the um, Bailey Brothers, so I would have to read the next one in that. But I do have another, I'm talking, at, I'm thinking out, I'm thinking inside and I'm talking out loud and it's not coming out in complete sentences. I do this all the time. It's fine. Okay. Prompt four. Okay. That's two. I just need one. Thank you. Is Brittany Cherry. Oh my God. What is it this month? Okay. I do not need to, as much as it's like, picking books. It's a lot of just like here, you can only pick from these sets of books, which really narrows it down, which helps me a lot. So I'm not complaining. Okay. 
So those are the four prompts and let's get my Spotify going here. And we will pick a book from Spotify. Okay. We are gonna shuffle and we're just gonna play. What's gonna come up? Okay. Tina Turner's What's Love Got to Do With It? Hmm. Okay, I can take that in many different directions. I could take that as an arranged marriage. I could take that as fake dating, fake marriage, enemies to lovers. Oh, this is fun. Okay, 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 I got this. So I'm gonna go pick the books for these prompts and then come back and show you guys what I chose for the month of May, my birthday month. Okay, I'm back and you're getting the glasses because I can't read what the book's about if I don't have them on. So mind, don't mind the glare. Okay, we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with Paige and I's book pick for the month. So if you did not know, me and Paige from Paige's Open Book have a book club. It is called the Thrilling Romance Book Club where we alternate between thrillers and romances and May is a thriller month. So that means the live show will be on my channel, but I cannot remember what, I think it's June 6th because we had to up it a week. So it's June 6th at seven Eastern on my channel. So for that, we chose A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. This is a thriller about a woman who, when she was 12, six teenage girls went missing in her small Louisiana town. By the end of the summer, her own father had confessed to the crimes. They put him away. She grew up to be a psychologist. And now I think back home, there are teenage girls going missing and being killed the same way her dad did it. So it's like, okay, did he do it? Was it him or was it, you know, is it a copycat or was it not him to begin with? So I am hoping for just, just a good thriller, a good like not, I always say jaw-dropping thriller because I just haven't read one of those yet where I'm just like, oh my gosh, I did not see that coming. Ugh, we'll see. But if you read this one, let me know down below. Okay, next I'm gonna go on to the three arcs that I have for this month because I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, it's fine. I did not realize that all three books were coming out in the month of May, but it's fine. Okay, the first book is, I have to get it on my iPad here. Okay, it's Shattered Vows by P. Rain, and this is book two in the Midnight Manor series that they have going on. I have not read book one, it's fine. Um, but all these in the series are retellings of princess stories. So the first one was Beauty and the Beast. The second book, which is this book, is a Rapunzel retelling, and I'm not sure what book three is, but they're all dark romances. And the tropes for this one is age gap, anti-hero, gothic romance, secret society, forced proximity, opposites attract, enemies to lovers, morality chain. What's that mean? Morality chain. Billionaire and second chance. Dear Lord. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just reading this again. Kidnapping Rhapsody on the day she was set to marry another man and forcing her to face my wrath while trapped in the confines of my... He's going to kidnap her. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this could totally work for what's love got to do with it. I didn't even think about that. I didn't choose it for that one, but it could. Okay. I'm excited. I really need to go back and read the first book, but that's okay. They're standalone, so you don't have to. Um, but I'm definitely... Okay. I'm even more excited to read that book now. <laughs> I should have been more excited to begin with, but I like Piper Rain. I've read one of their small town romances and I liked it. So when they started into dark romance, they went under the pen name as P. Rain. So a little tidbit for you in case you didn't know. Speaking of them, again, I also, they also have a new small town romance series coming out and it's the Plain Daisy Ranch series. And I was also approved for an arc for the first book. And in this one, it says it's a classic story. Boy goes off into the world to fulfill his dreams and leaves the girl behind. Not every boy returns home and I wish Ben wouldn't have come back to our small ranching town at all when he retired from playing professional football. I figure it's a quick layover for him. He always wanted out of this town and off his family's ranch. I just have to bide my time until he turns his back on all of us again. Then he takes on the coaching 
position for the high school football team and starts milling around too much, bulldozing the protective walls I've built around me. So this sounds like second. Okay, but he goes too far when he takes my son under his wing to help him be the best player he can be, leaving me to protect not only my own heart, but my son's too. Because I promised myself a long time ago that I'd never be the girl in the rearview mirror again. Is it your, is it his son? Is it his son? Or it's just, okay, it's just, I know it's second chance, but is it his son? Is this a secret baby? Child, teenager at this point. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm excited. Okay. Plus the covers on these. They're gorgeous. And I mean the people cover. And I'm very upset that they're only going to be offered in the hard cover. <sighs> I don't know why. I don't know why authors do that. That's okay. Okay. And then the last arc for this month is Fragile Sanctuary by Catherine Cowles. No, I have not read a Catherine Cowles before, but that's okay because this is the start of a new series. And I figured let's just start somewhere. So we're going to, plus the cover got me. The cover is really, really pretty. So I was like, oh yes. But <laughs> I have, so I, I own Catherine. She's right there. Like I own her books. Just haven't, haven't picked them up. But I, look, I want to, so we're just gonna, we're gonna read this one. I couldn't even tell you what this one's about. What are the tropes? Oh, okay, she told me right here. This is amazing. We've got hate to love or enemies to lovers, brother's best friend, ex-profiler, hilarious grandma, found family, serial and aliver, age gap, forced proximity, grumpy, sunshine, a belt sing, toucher and die vibes, broken hero. That's all I need. I don't need to know anything else. You had me an ex-profiler because I just love anything that has to do with FBI. I blame Criminal Minds for that. But that is all the arcs for this month. So getting into the prompts, my Spotify pick was What's Love Got to Do With It by Tina Turner. And so I could totally use that Shattered Vows. I could. But I went ahead and picked a book anyway. So I picked Marriage for One by Ella Mays because this is like, not an arranged marriage, but it's like a marriage of convenience and they're really strangers, so they don't know each other. And for her to have like, to get this bakery or something, it's like a business deal that they end up getting married and it's a slow burn. And I feel like, okay, well, there's no love in this at first. So it fits the prompt. So I win. <laughs> and I haven't read anything by her, so we'll see if I enjoy her writing. And then for the second prompt, which was Elsie Silver, I just went ahead and I chose the second book in the Gold Rush Ranch series, which is a photo finish because I just need to finish the series. And I still have the Chestnut Springs, I know, I know. But I kind of like to read it in order. And I'm kind of kicking myself that I read Flawless without finishing this first, <laughs> um, this first series. So we're going to go back. And this one is about Violet and... Oh, Lord. What's his name? Cade? I'm, I'm feeling a Cade. Cole. I, it was a Cole. It's, it was a C word. I knew that. But Violet is actually the sister of the brothers from the Chestnut Spring series, Cade and Rhett. So, and she races horses. So I think she's a horse jockey. And I think this is a second chance type of romance. So, I already know that I love Elsie Silver's writing, so I'm hoping that I enjoy this one as well. And then we've got the Claire Kingsley book. So for this, I was going to choose the next Bailey Brothers. I was. But then I looked how big it was. And I'm like, I just don't want to do that to myself this month. So instead, I chose Whiskey Chaser. This is book one in the Bootleg Springs series. But this is also written with Lucy Score. So I don't even know what this book is about. But the little quote in the back says, I'm afraid my vagina might turn inside itself. Wait, no, wait. I can't even read it. Lord have mercy. I'm afraid my vagina might turn itself inside out if you try to give it another orgasm so soon. Like, need I say more? Like, that should be enough for anybody, but I know that's not the case. So, okay, so it sounds like they're neighbors. Uh, so this is set in Bootleg Springs, which is a small, tiny West Virginia town. Aren't they all? <laughs> um, and his claim to fame is Moonshine and the Cold Case Disappearance of a Teen Girl. 
and Scarlet is his neighbor and she has plans to kind of take him under her wing and like be her new pet project um because he's kind of hit rock bottom his marriage political career five-year plan in DC all kind of destroyed so sounds cute we're gonna see we're just gonna see you know nothing I've never heard anyone talk about this book so it might be complete meh, but we're gonna see um the second one the second to last one is read the next book in a series so this month I read Always Mine by Laura Pavlov and I don't know why I waited so long to start with those series I always do that to myself I loved I absolutely loved her writing so I definitely want to go on to the next book in the series which is Ever Mine this is book two in the Honey Mountain series and I think this is Dylan is this Dylan I will tell you no it's Everly Everly right because she's like the sports psychologist and he's a hockey player right but so this is um, in book one, we learned about Vivi. So this is Vivi's older sister, Everly, and she works with different athletes and things like that. So that's where they're going to meet. So I'm excited. I definitely want to continue. I Like I said, I'm kicking myself that I waited so long to read Always Mine, but it's what I always do. Okay, and then the last prompt was Brittany Cherry. So for that, I chose The Wreckage of Us. And I honestly have no idea what this is about. Okay. I still don't know what this is about after I read the back of it. But it sounds like our heroine comes from not the best family. And when her drug dealing stepdad kicks her out, she goes and squats in the abandoned shed of Ian's grandpa's farm. And then when he finds her there, he's like, no, you can't stay there. You have to, I, I have a spare room. Come live with me. Um... And then she ends up calling the cops on her stepdad and she unintentionally gets her pregnant mom arrested. So I guess when her mom has the baby, she has to take care of it. Um, meanwhile, his band is taking off and all his dreams are coming true. So what's going to happen? Are you going to go on tour, sir? Are you? Are you going to leave her behind? Don't know. I don't know. But I have read Brittany Cherry and I do know that I love her writing. So, and again, I haven't really heard very many people talk about this so I'm just kind of going in blind with my books this month and hoping that it's a good month but those are all the books that I chose for the month of May and will I read these who knows I like I said I may just skip this and just mood read it's a real strong possibility but the three well the four books the first four books are definites because I have to do those the, these last ones, who knows? Who knows what's going to come for me? But let me know down below what you plan on reading for the month of May, or if you've read any of these books, let me know. Or if you just want to leave me an emoji to let me know that you were here, leave me the birthday cake emoji because birthday. I don't know how many times I've said that word, but I'm very excited. I'm very excited for my birthday. Um, if you're new here and enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. I would love for you to stick around. My social media is linked down below as always if you want to stay more up to date and behind the scenes of what I'm reading. But I hope you all are having a great day or evening and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.